Well, I am pumped up and ready to go now. Uh, dealing with my camera for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's a tournament day on Cherokee Lake. I get here right on time. I get this little spot that I know is out of the way. And there's another guy in a kayak here. Okay, I mean, that happens. I like to try to find this place by myself. Then my expensive GoPro microphone housing is acting up. Spends me 20 minutes to figure out what the problem was. And now I'm not, no, no microphone, so no wind mic. That's not too bad, but I'm ready to get to fishing. The rain was supposed to go away. It's barely sprinkling. That's actually really good. It was supposed to rain all day. It's a uh, barely spring. I couldn't figure out what to wear. So I'm just wearing like sweatpants and a shirt. I was going to wear a rain suit and then the rain moved out. Also, oh, something just jumped right there. Also, today I'm fishing with only lures that subscribers have sent me. Some are brand name stuff. Some are homemade stuff. Some are old crankbaits, which I'm, I'm hoping those will work today. So I'm only taking, I got all organized. I'm only taking what I've been sent and I got my rods and we're gonna get out here. Let's, uh, I'll show you what I'm throwing once I get them out. So check it out. This is a whole box that I put all this stuff together. This is all different soft plastics that people have sent me and just lots of different things in there. There's a couple name brand stuff in there, but nothing that I'm like sponsored by or, or nothing that I've been, that I've used, that I normally use. And then look at these crankbaits. We got some, a uh, few older crankbaits and I'm gonna start with that one. Uh, the guy in the other kayak went that way. I plan to go up that way. Check this guy out. I don't know what these, this brand is. The hooks look a little rusty, but okay. Um, so also I got some, I got a jig tied on. Somebody made some custom jigs and they look really good. Um, I got a couple lipless ones. I got a few different things. So I think I got stuff to work with. I think I'm gonna catch some fish. Oh, <laughs> it was right at the boat. Oh, I think he's long enough. Who scared me? We got a fish. 25 minutes in or less. So he's a little one. I think he's going to be a keeper. Hit right at the boat. I, th I thrown around mostly this little, it's like a Rapala. I don't know if it is or not, but it's real shallow diving, but a little shad shallow diving and the water's clearer than it was last year in here although it rained a lot last night so i'm gonna work my way up that channel and this is right where i caught him last year oh he is on the line 721 12 incher one down every fish counts obviously but today is another one of those limit one of those days where we're going to do uh five fish limit so five fish over 12 inches five uh black bass and that's good we got one all we do is get one keep getting them i'm gonna go way up shallow here there, dude there's like giant suckers that are coming from up in this foot of water but what I saw, unless they were just doing a mating thing, and just like it looked like bass chasing something. But I haven't. There's so many suckers coming out of here. I haven't seen any bass come out. The water's real shallow and clear. Look at that. There, there's hundreds of them up here. I wish I knew how to catch them. I think you can catch them with uh, worms sometimes, but they must be doing a mating thing, spawning things. It's it's like less than a foot of water, and they're just they just keep coming out of there.
Okay, time to go for some biggins. Been out here about an hour. Look at this jig here. It's kind of like a fire crawl. I added a little, uh, had a little, somebody sent me a little crawl thing I used for a trailer. But that looks good right there. Let's just start throwing it. hooks on here. Come on, come on. Oh, he's barely hooked. Whoa, he was barely hooked. Just at the end of the corner of his mouth. Second fish, camera might be a little blurry. I used underwater. Both on that little shallow shad thing. And I, I know this area is from shad, uh, shallow. I remember it from last year. So I was like, I'm just working around. I think I got a fish same way last year. Nothing giant, but a second keeper. 14 and a half. <laughs> I, he was 14 and three quarters, but I couldn't get him to hold still just to get the tail across it. So 14 and a half, I like it. It's gonna turn out to be a really nice day. Go over here and uh, hit these rocks, and work our way up. There's a kind of a channel and I think a little creek comes in, but I know I saw a kayak go up there and I saw a boat go up there. But I'm gonna work our way up to this rock ledge over here. This right here is from Stone Fishing. And look at this blue curly tail water's murky it's been two hours in so it's, i'm not getting desperate or anything i know i'm gonna i feel like i'm still gonna catch fish need three more keepers uh, i've gone through a few different crankbaits and can't really get nothing else i don't know if this has been fished a lot already today or if there's fish up in here but i'm gonna go through these rocks i've been throwing a crankbait and i'm gonna go through here with this worm Just lost a little crankbait. Time to regroup. And I can't figure much out. Well, it's 10, 10. Got, it's almost halfway through, but got a little more than four hours to fish. And uh, after I got those, I got the first one pretty quick. Then I got the second one about 45 minutes later. And I guess it's been an hour and a half or so. And I haven't got a bite, haven't figured nothing out. I saw there was one kayaker way up one way, and then there's been boats coming and going. I'm getting a little hungry. I just broke off a crankbait, so um, lost one of the subscribers' crankbaits. Ate my sandwich. I saw I got a couple snacks to eat. Got about three and a half hours, and I moved to another spot that I'd never been to before, but I'd marked it. Turns out it looks like a lot of people are here, and there's like three uh, at least kayakers, and a couple of them I know who they are, so I saw their vehicles. I don't know if it means it's a good spot or not, but I got just a little bit of uh, energy and stuff to get out here and a little hope that I'm gonna catch some more fish. <laughs> well, it's a little guy, but it's giving me hope. I'm gonna fish this wall really good. I got a I'm gonna crawl thing. I don't know what brand it is, but it was in a pack of lures that somebody sent me. Okay, didn't get not a keeper, but I got a fish. Got another fish. Now I'm on the little ones. Well, I'll take anything. But guess what? I went back to that little lure. That thing's got me three fish. And I've been throwing all kinds of other stuff. Oh man, well, I don't really know. Three, three times today, 
I've been heading towards an area and saw a kayak already in there or going to the same area. Like three times I made a decision, all right, I'm gonna go back over here, go to this cove, go to this area, and there's somebody already in the way. Like there's not that many kayak, kayak guys in the tournament. I guess we're all in the same place. A good old eight and three quarter. Uh, let's see here. Just under two hours left, which is plenty of time. I'm trying not to just give in because that's plenty of time to get three keepers. I could catch three keepers in 15 minutes or something like that, you know. <laughs> that guy hammered it. But another small one. Okay, well at least I'm catching fish. That was that's two fish. See if those were keepers, it'd be two keepers in like five minutes. Got some fish jumping around. Okay, another one just a few inches short. Been a mixture of spots and largemouth today. Well, I just lost the crankbait that caught the fish. I got another one though. Oh, be a bass. That was a good bass and it just <clears throat> threw it off. <coughs> First cast with this lure. It's like every time I switch lure, I get a bite. I was not even ready. First cast and it comes off. Or maybe second cast, I can't remember. Just tied it on. Hadn't had a bite in a while. I don't know if that's the lure. We'll find out, I guess. Or just the that one random bass that was there. That was a good keeper. Is tiny. Five and a quarter inch large mouth. Mm. <laughs> 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 I think that's the smallest we've ever had committed. So. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what'd you catch that off? <laughs> 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 Give me the breakdown. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy. All right, guys, a pretty impressive day. 59 angles, like I said, 195 fish submitted. So. That's a lot of fish, so probably the biggest we've ever had. Third place, 87 and a quarter inch, Alex Rudd. I got five bites on a spinner bait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a little recap. So Alex here got some money. If y'all don't know, y'all probably know who this is. This is Josh Sharp, Alex Rudd. And I uh, figured I'd have them give me a little recap because was it last tournament we fished? Yeah. I think I caught the same amount of fish. And you want to tell me if she caught? I caught zero. So he caught zero. Caught he zero. went from zero to yeah. hero again. Wait, no, no, no. I caught one and didn't keep. So I'm, I'm, I okay. did not get skunk, but zeroed on the tournament. But I, we, we try, we make these tournament videos, and it's, it, you never know what's going to happen. Some guys were killing it. You had an awesome day. Yeah. I was had another bad day. Josh, how was your caught, day? I caught a limit. Uh, couldn't find any big fish at all. So, but I was happy. That was my main go. Get a limit. Get a limit. I needed those points for the oh, yeah. AOI race. So yeah, got five. So we'll see how that pans out later. And you caught yours on spinnerbait, you said? Yeah, I caught oh, yeah. all five. So I started in the morning with a top water and caught everything but a bass, and then ended up picking up a spinnerbait and got five bites between daylight and about 8:45, and then didn't get another bite the rest of the day. And it was good enough for third place. And like Josh trying to get that angler of the year so yeah. those are good <laughs> points that's good points that yeah, i needed sure. that, that was yeah i was junk fishing <laughs> caught some on a crank caught some uh on like a little paddle tail on a on a ned head <laughs> and uh what else I, I think that's all i caught them on yeah threw everything though caught five got five bites that was it yeah hey guys and there you have it another tournament video wrapped up uh where i didn't do very good but i, I caught six fish only two were keepers 
Uh, I figured I'd throw in Alex Rudd and Josh Sharp. And of course, if you don't know their channel, I'll put their channel information. They fish, uh, I fish the same tournament trail as them. So I do a lot of, we do a lot of tournaments together. We also do some fishing together. But like a couple a couple days, a couple tournaments ago, um, Alex had caught zero. And I think Josh had only caught like zero one. And then I caught three, which was a limit and got like, you know, got like ninth place. And then this one I get, I think, I don't even remember what it was. I'll put the ending. It wasn't very good, but I only caught two. It was a limit of five. And then Alex caught five total bass and got uh, like third or fourth place. And then Josh caught five total bass and uh, and got whatever he got. So it's like, it's so crazy how close it can be. Um, also, it was crazy how many fish were caught. A lot of people caught a ton of fish. There was one guy I talked to, I forgot his name. He caught uh, over 40 fish, but I think only four or five were keepers. Um, it's like just a bunch of little fish. So I did win the smallest fish award. They do that, it's kind of like a fun little thing. Got a little gift card. And that's my goal now. My goal is like to win that every time. So I'm gonna have to go smallest fish award, try to see how many times I can get it. I don't know, it'd be kind of fun to kind of get, just a fun little thing. Um, that was a tiny one that just happened to hit on a little crankbait. So if you've been wondering where all the subscriber lures uh, that I have, that's I've been saving them, I haven't get, got rid of them. I'll try to do some more videos on some of them. I went through a bunch of different lures, didn't get to show everybody stuff and you know get, tell everybody's name, but I uh, appreciate everybody that sent me stuff. And um, yeah, I, I had fun trying them. I don't think I would have done much different if I was using my regular lures. Maybe I would have landed one or two more fish, but I think the section I was, the area I was in there just, I just wasn't getting a lot of fish. There were some people, they were in areas where they were catching striper and uh, I think white bass and tons of like smallmouth and largemouth. And I'm like, I was, I, I couldn't feel like there was nothing around me, but you just never know. Sometimes uh, being in the right place makes a big difference, especially on these kayak tournaments. So thanks so much.